Hey everybody, this is Travis, your manufactured home nerd. I'm at the Biloxi Home Show here in Biloxi, Mississippi. We're going to be starting off with the Cabco Homes today. Uh, you'll see quite a few videos in the next few weeks coming from the show. Got new features in a lot of the homes and just a lot of really neat stuff, new layouts. So today we're going to see this home. It is the MD53 by Cabco Builders of Boaz, Alabama. You can see it's a 32 by 64, three bedroom, two bath, vinyl siding all around the exterior. They chose to do no shutters on the front of this one, but it's still got a really good clean look. And we're gonna go in and check out the inside. Right off the bat, we walk into a little area between your living room and dining room and you can see the kitchen on the far side now if you notice the vents are in the floor but it is definite an option to put them in the ceiling that's something that we always do when possible at bolton homes board and bat on the walls here but you can upgrade to sheetrock as well looking at this house and just checking out some of the specs there's a lot of really nice stuff about it uh, Probably for our area, come in around 138 to 145, somewhere around there, right at 1,920 square feet. Good size dining room. And of course, you know with Capco, they, they do let us do a lot of custom design, so you could change things up in here quite a bit. Probably add a fireplace as well if you wanted. And then there's your guest bedrooms down here. I did set up ahead of time, a little floor plan, just so you could see this layout. Again, it's the MD-53. You can see that three bedrooms, two bath, utility off the kitchen, and a good size pantry we haven't even looked at yet. So let's check out the rest of this house. Of course, I got that farm sink in there, that gunmetal. It looks really good. I always like how clean it is. The white vent hood, and then they have real wood doors on the cabinets. And from what I'm understanding, that's gonna become the standard this year for all their homes. So that's something I really am looking forward to. We always like upgrades. Whirlpool appliances in the home and several different upgrade options with that. If you want a gas stove, if you want smooth top stove, coil top range, those are all different options. And they have the French door fridge. They can do black appliances as well. Big pot and pan drawers there I missed as well <laughs> over here by the sink too. So right here off the kitchen, we got our utility room. There's your back door, a little cottage style door. Let you look outside. Built-in bench with lockers right above. Store a lot of stuff. And space for a freezer on the wall if you want. And then over here, of course, your washer and dryer set up. Now there is the whole home shut off. And of course, on all your plumbing, you're gonna have shut off valves. So it makes life a little bit easier if you do have a leak in your home. Kind of liking these wall boards that they have in here. A little bit different look. There's the rolled edge countertops. I didn't look at that before. And then there's your large pantry, large walk-in pantry, which is really nice as well. Let's go check out the guest bedrooms and see what we like or what, they're, what they are like, excuse me. Over here on the left, you got bedroom two. It's a fairly good size. You could easily fit a queen size bed in here. Definitely a full and a dresser as well. I like the two large windows. And it looks like we're gonna have a walk-in closet, so that's always nice as well. Coming over here, straight across from bedroom two is your guest bathroom. Fiberglass, one piece, tub and shower. Ceramic sinks, of course little mirror above the sink as well and then of course here's bedroom three it's going to be right about the same size as bedroom two and that closet's going to be about the same size as well so overall it's actually it looks like it's a little bit larger just a, a tad larger it's really nice now i don't know if y'all noticed but this house because it's a show house they fully trimmed it out one of the things you don't see a lot of times in display homes on lots it's the full trim out but they use a vinyl tile 
at Cabco. As you see, it's not linoleum. Each one of those is an individual hand laid tile. And if you notice right here at this marriage line, there is no transition bar. Because when you use the tile instead of lino, you're able to make sure that this, this one line I'm walking along fits perfect right over the marriage line and not have any transition bar, but also issues. It's, it's perfectly level all the way across, and that's something that's just really nice altogether. Now, coming in this master bedroom, it is fairly large. They chose to put a queen size bed in here, but I think you could have easily gone to a king. It is throwing me off a little bit, guys, because of the floor vents. You know, that's not something I normally choose or my customers normally choose. But remember, we always put them in the ceiling. I do like the, the size of the bedroom. It is it's fairly large. That's Dave, he works for the factory. And coming into the bathroom here, you can see the large soaker tub here. Plenty of room, as well as some huge cabinets for storage. We've got a lot of space in there. For towels, supplies, whatever you wanted to put in there. That's good size cabinets. And then we've got the six foot fiberglass shower with the rain maker shower head. I do love those as well. A private water closet here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And dual vanities off to the side with a drawer stack, stack in the middle. And then a large walk-in closet. They got the sweater racks. Some people call them shoe racks, but I think they're technically sweater racks. And a lot of shelving in here. Big transom window. Just a lot of a good layout. Very, very good for natural light with all the windows throughout the house. Of course, they got blinds in every window. These are the one inch blinds, but you can do the two inch blinds. They are the cordless, so you can pull them up with your hand and pull them down with your hands. Don't have to worry about cords tangling up for the, with kids or pets or anything like that. Y'all, if y'all have questions about this house or any other, don't hesitate to reach out to me, 318-487-1819. I'd love to help you. And don't forget to hit like and share the video and go ahead and subscribe. Y'all have a great day.